Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for this video today. And today I am going to be showing you and swatching for you the NYX Full Throttle Palette. Um, and this palette is called Daring Damsel. And I actually filmed this video yesterday and I went to edit it on my computer and I wasn't happy with it. So I'm filming it again today. So today is not a first impression. When I filmed it yesterday, it was a first impression. Unfortunately now, it is not a first impression. But I'm st I still want to show you this palette anyway because the makeup look turned out really, really nice um, just from using these four shades here. And I think it's great because NYX is a brand that's accessible to a lot of people, especially here in Germany. You can get it from the drugstore. Uh, they are a really good price for the quality of the shadows. They're not really expensive at all. And yeah, you can create a really nice makeup look with four shadows. You don't need to use like seven, eight, nine, ten different shadows. The important thing for me is that in a palette there is a mix of matte shadows and shimmer shadows. And this palette does have one matte shadow, which is the brown shade here. And then it has three shimmer shadows there. So you can create a really nice look with this palette. So I'm first going to swatch them on my fingers so you can see. And then I will apply them to my eyes so you can see how they blend out on the eyes. So that is what the shadows look like on my finger. So as I did put my fingers into the shadows, I did notice that the purple shade, the brown shade, and the lighter shade, they do have a very soft consistency, but the gold shade here has a more like creamy, buttery consistency. The other three are nice, they're not dry or like rough and chalky, they're not like that, but the gold one is more buttery than the others. And that is what the colours look like on the back of my hand. This is the really light shimmery shade, perfect to use as an underbrow highlight. Then we have this matte brown in the middle, which I will use as my transition shade. This gorgeous creamy bronzy gold shadow here. It's not like a true yellow gold, it is more of a bronzy toned gold, but stunning nonetheless. And then here we have my favourite shadow in the palette, this kind of purple aubergine colour here. So now I am going to apply these shadows to my eyes so you can all see how you can create a really simple eye makeup look using this palette. I have already prepped my eyelids with an eye base and I just used this really inexpensive one by P2. So I'm first going to pick up the lighter shade in the palette on a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to dust that all over the lid, especially under my brow bone, just to set that eye base into place. Next I'm going to pick up this brown shade here, but I just want to show you guys, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see, as I put my brush in the product, I'm getting like a mist of powder that comes off, so you do get a lot of kickback from the shadow. It doesn't really bother me, but if it bothers you, I just wanted to let you guys know that. And I'm just going to start blending that into my crease. So if you guys watched my collective haul video, it's the video that I put up before this one. I'll throw it up in the cards in case you haven't seen it. Um, I did say in that video that I want to start neutralising or naturalising my makeup looks. Um, I just feel like I'm more of that kind of girl next door, day to day kind of makeup girl rather than full on glam, Instagram worthy makeup kind of girl, which is fine. Um, and I actually feel like a lot of you are more like the more natural side rather than full glam side So I think this will be more beneficial for you as well But anyway, these shadows are blending out so easily super super soft and barely using any pressure on the brush Now I'm gonna pick up this gorgeous bronzy gold shade. I'm first gonna apply it with my little finger and then I'm gonna go in with a shader brush just to soften it up and get into all those little nooks and crannies of the eye. I'm then just going back in with my fluffy brush to blend out those edges. I don't know if you guys can see, but I do have a little bit of fallout from the shadows. It's not extreme fallout, but it is there just to let you guys know. Now going in with this beautiful aubergine shade, I'm gonna start deepening up the outer corner. Again, I'm wanting to make this 
a very wearable look, so I'm not going too dark. Um, you can do a nice slight smokiness and it can still be wearable, so that's what I'm going for. And then once again going back in with the brush I used for the transition and just blending out the edges. Now taking a pencil brush and the matte brown transition shade, I'm going to run that under my lower lash line. And just to match the top to the bottom, I'm going to take a little bit of the aubergine shade on this smudger brush and just pop that right on the outer corner of the lower lash line. I'm really not using much product at all. Going back in with the lighter shade from the palette, I'm going to highlight my inner corners. Okay, I'm just going to dust away the fallout from the shadows. Now I'm just going to go ahead and apply some eyeliner and mascara and I will be right back. So I've zoomed you right in so you can see my finished eye look. Um, and this is what I created with those four shadows and I just think it looks really really pretty the colours are vibrant enough without being too intense but you do get a really good colour payoff as you can see so I hope you guys can see why I wanted to film this video again for you I really enjoyed using this palette this palette is perfect for taking on a weekend trip away or on holiday in a small makeup bag because it's very compact. It's not a big palette, but you can be sure that while you're away, you can create a really nice makeup look with these shadows. I'm not 100% sure how much these full throttle palettes retail for as this was a gift, but I know they won't be expensive because it's NYX, um, but you can Google it and you can find out the price on there, or if I can, I will leave a link to them in the description box down below. And that guys is going to conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Sean Velasquez. Welcome to our lovely little YouTube family here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, ich liebe euch. I love you guys. Bye.